For the first time tonight, we hear from the mom of a man accused of shooting a nurse. The 38-year-old man is accused of shooting the nurse in the leg on Saturday with a trooper's gun. It is a story we've been following closely since the first call for help went out inside West Marion Regional Medical Center. That is along the 4600 block of Southwest Court in Ocala. Nadine Giannis joins us with this new side to the story. Well, instead of the emergency happening somewhere else, it happened here on Saturday at the West Marion Hospital after a nurse was shot in the emergency room. 38 year old Jason Gignac was arrested. Today we spoke to his mom who says he desperately needs help and says that hopefully this time jail time will work. It's like, I mean, it did, it's not my son. You know, it's just not my son. It's the drugs and he just can't quit. Through the phone, you can just hear how desperate mom Rachel Delanoy is, saying that when her 38-year-old son, Jason Gignac, left their Lake City home last week, she knew it was trouble. On Saturday morning, she called me because I was done. I was done. I knew he was doing drugs. I love my son dearly. Trust me. But I just couldn't take it no more. And he called me six times Saturday morning, and I didn't answer the phone. And I should have. Instead, she answered the phone hours later, getting the call that her son was involved in a shooting and was arrested. FHP troopers say it started after they told Gignac several times he wasn't allowed to walk on the interstate. The third time, they caught him. He said he needed to go to the hospital. It was as he was checking out, troopers tried to arrest him. He just flipped out. He wasn't in his mind, I guess. This is what I'm thinking. He did not want to go to jail. There was a struggle, him against three troopers, and then a shot was fired. Well, he reached out and he grabbed it. Tonight, troopers aren't telling us if Gignac was able to get the gun in his hand or if he was purposely trying to hit anyone. They say that's now a part of an internal investigation. It's probably a blessing in disguise because maybe he can get the help he needs there because he's going to be there for a little while, I'm sure. So Gignac is being held without bond in jail tonight. As for the nurse, we're told she'll be okay, and we're still waiting to hear from a response from the hospital about what happened on Saturday. In Marion County, Nadine Giannis, News 6.